I've got some board game news for you. Okay. Excellent. Okay. We have just seen um, a preview for 2018 of nict- Nictophobia. Nictophobia, yes. Nictophobia. Nictophobia. You, you might love this. Okay. Okay. Some people may not. I've got a, a, an interesting one. Ben, tell us a bit about Nictophobia. Okay, so this was a game that was kind of previewed towards the end of last year at Essen, but it's, uh, a few more sort of whispers are going around right now that it might be picked up by a company called Pandasaurus Games, and it might come to, to uh, the tabletop this year. The whole premise behind it is that it's basically one of those sort of 80s axe murdering style films yes. on the tabletop, so a slash flick. So what happens is you've got the, the forest laying out in front of you. Mm-hmm. All the players are literally blindfolded yeah and you have to try and make your way around the board feeling your way across it to get to the car or the police and escape the forest oh, that meanwhile cool. the axe murderer doesn't have to wear a blindfold obviously and yep. he has a, a deck of cards that he works from which will dictate the kind of actions that he can do on the tabletop so you're trying to avoid him feel out where all the risks are while he's hunting you down all the time not being able to see anything that's going on so it's going to be very very cool seeing how this comes together it seems like one of those really cool party sort of games that you might get out with a couple of drinks potentially oh yeah no. oh, yes me and you blindfolded together with some drinks i, I was about can to you say, imagine it i was about to say i, would uh, play this. I was about to say i would play this yes but not with him and not with drinks <laughs> oh come on you'd love it me you Two blindfolds, okay. Right. Andrea's got a ton of them, man. I'll bring them with me, okay. Comfy looking ones too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I got you a nice pink furry one, man. All right, and and drinks. What what what? That is a game that's crying out for bourbon. Uh, look, Ooh, if yes. you're doing this, um, oh, he's, oh, he's about to order vodka and coke. What no, do you no, say? No, no, he's no, about no. to order vodka and no, coke. There is a very special Push drink in this me, world, please. right? Okay, a very special drink that some of you out there will know. Uh-huh. It's called tea. 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 It goes from 57% to 97% proof. I've never heard of tea. It comes from the Czech Republic. I'll bring you back a bottle. You absolutely will. You absolutely will. Because the last drink you were telling me about was the Ron... What was it uh, called? Ron Jeremy Spiced Ron Ron Jeremy Spiced Ron. And before anyone says it, yes, it was that Ron Jeremy. It was delicious. Who's wrong, Jeremy? Never worry, but oh, Sam, we'll, we'll tell you later. Yeah, we'll, we'll tell you later. You, you don't want to know. I'll show oh, you a picture I'll, later. I'll get you some while we're okay. <laughs> yeah. you it. It's the only rum so, I've ever been able to drink. Yeah, we'll get you a, we'll get you a picture later on. Like, okay. well, the, no, no, no. The Ron Jeremy stuff is great. You know, it comes in a really big, thick bottle. Let's let's get back on it. Yeah. Though, right? Okay. Um, what this, do you think? This, I know, I know some... Idea. I had friends years ago, and there was a couple of them who would never do anything blindfolded. Uh, no. They just do just would not do the blindfold thing. Right. I wonder how many people would actually... Uh, how, Have that uh, fear? Yeah, but I wonder what if it does add... Being blindfolded... Is actually um, an experience. You know, yeah. It's it, it it is a you can f- it will it will start to trigger your fight or flight. I think a little bit. I think I think so. I yeah. think it's a really interesting thing to add to the game. Well, because I know in a, in an escape room or something like that, if you go into somewhere and then suddenly it just goes absolutely yes. pitch black. Mm. As safe as you know you are, yeah. your fight or flight will actually start to kick in. Yeah. You, you, the, the adrenaline will start to. You ever try to, to go through a dark maze where you know you're, you're just walking through a maze with no lights at yeah. all? I, I, I genuinely feel scared in those places. But then I'm a cat. I get scared in the, the halls of mirrors, man, because all them other war zans looking back at me. <laughs> it, just, it just freaks me out with the awesomeness, you know? I was like, <laughs> the interesting part of this for me is the tactile element to it. Yes, because trying it, to map we'd have to touch. feed each other up constantly. Trying to map out a game board by touch yes. is something that no one's ever going to have tried to do before. Mm. You know, in a game, I can't think of any that I've ever tried to do tactile mapping. I'm with you on that, Justin. I can't think so of that, any think board game where I've had to reveal. Unless you're playing with him, because he probably put a mouse trap down. No, <laughs> that's an idea. Damn it, booby trap. I was thinking super glue. Booby traps. Oh, why, why is there going to be one of those? Like uh... it would, it would have to be non-lethal booby traps. Okay, so the electrified okay. buzzer, no. But imagine if they built booby traps into it, right? That as you're moving along. Okay, mm. to increase that sense of stress, to yeah. increase mm. that stress. I can imagine him though, look at just totally losing you, it. You could actually fill these these little indents with like squidgy goo and stuff. Yeah, all so sorts as you're walking through the forest. Slimy. Oh god, it's squidgy. Yeah, you you could have a lot of fun. 
yeah. with a with a with a tactile experience, yeah. but the little electric shocks and stuff. Maybe. But uh, did you ever watch Fear Factor when it was on TV? I yes. remember they, they it. They always yes. blindfolded people and did the the tactile challenges that yeah. just freaked people out. So I'd say your fight or flight would kick in with that. Well, this is so this right is the there. question then for you, right? Um, uh, as as a board game mm -hmm. that's about that's about axe murderers. Okay. Yes. Clearly, those guys during the design of that said, "Well, you know, the the main thing for a black, uh, for an axe murderer in an axe murderer flick is the sense of suspense. Yeah, is yes. that sense of that building suspense and the horror more often than not is in the build up mm, yeah. rather than the actual uh, rather than the actual gore scenes itself." Yeah. So they've actually uh, uh, they've actually created a mechanic for that, I believe, with the blindfold because yeah. I think the blindfold. Will give you that sense of suspense because yeah, although it, you it, think you're it, playing it a game, you, it brings you, you will down, be on edge. Yeah. yeah, it brings you down into the game rather than up above it as yeah. a player seeing what everything. Yeah, the guards eye view. But yeah. that and knowing that the that one of the players isn't blindfolded, yeah, you are going to feel on edge. Here's a question for you: Whenever you're actually trying to find your way around the board, yeah. Is everybody doing that at the same time? Does everybody have their hand on at the same time? Because you might reach across, touch somebody, go, oh, only, sorry. Only, only in the late night edition of it, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It no, depends but, on how many drinks are consumed, I, I, I suppose. Have you ever had that where you know, oh, you're all in the dark time, man. you touch something and it's just like, yeah. Yeah, every weekend, man. Every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so that is uh, the necto nectophobia. Is nectophobia. that going to be uh, nectophobia? Yeah, it means fear Necto of the dark. <laughs> is, yeah. it, is it coming to uh, UK Games Expo as well, Ben? Do we know? Uh, well, they do have plans to have, bring it to conventions this year. Um, so you may end up seeing it at the likes of Essen, Gen Con, and, and UK Games Expo. I think it's uh, I think it's made by an American um, sort of pairing or an author. Yeah. So you're more likely to see it at Gen Con than you are in the UK. But we shall see. Uh, if it gets picked up and, and run properly through Pandasaurus Games, then you're probably going to see it in a lot more uh, conventions uh, this year. So If you are the guys it. behind this, please, please get in touch. Because he's dying to play this with me. Honestly, <laughs> I'd love to. Play I, this. I would love to do this on camera. Yes, because I think it will be hilarious. We should blindfold the viewers as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, not just a black screen. <laughs> uh, all, all you would hear would be random girlish screams coming out of me. It's just like any of our games, Justin. Really, in it. So, right <laughs> in the middle of it all, white tiger. White tiger. Uh.